War Metal or Bestial Black Metal, like Black and Death Metal. But more extreme, while having some grind core like like or noise influences. <laughs> Early bands that laid the Teramisu base for war metal or sarcophagus with Iron Our Eye. <laughs> Sodoms in a sign of evil. Sounding extreme compared to your average 80s thrash metal scene. Onto the second base with classics like Blasphemies, Blood Upon the Altar, Fallen Angel of Doom. We heard it with the Oath of Black Blood Drawing Down the Moon And a horror with Rumpus of the Undead Layering the aesthetic for future bands and war metal Other notable bands include Conqueror Refrange and Oshko. Fans include Bestial Warlust, Black Witchery, Proclamation. Etc. Industrial black metal, like mechanical black metal. So this is industrial metal. Now imagine it with black metal's focal and rifting, and there you have it. Earliest example is Stigma Diabolicum with their demo Luna di Nocturnus. <laughs> yeah. With keyboard usage in Mari Figoris. Not gonna lie, if you exclude the keyboard or the industrial sound, it sounds like raw black metal. Later they changed to phones, releasing their debut album. You must listen to this band if you want to get into black industrial metal. Other pioneers are Mysticum with In the Streams of Inferno. And Sam Mayo with Ceremony of Opposites. My, the sun living one for Am I the chosen one? Fans include Access of Perdition <laughs> Aborium Count Nosfer Atu Commando <laughs> Etc. Before you continue, make sure to like and subscribe! Your support is the motivation and backbone of these music videos, so please like and subscribe. Now back to the video. Post Black Metal. Mixing and adding other music genres while its roots is based on black metal, like post punk or post rock. It began in mid 90s when bands like Floaty. At the end of the arc, start mixing black metal with more elements. Some older bands were doing the same thing, like Mayhem with Grand Declaration of War. Dark Heim Scars with Satanic Art. And arguably, Alsis with Less Secret. Fans include Agalog, Diabolical Masquerade, Solar Fault, etc. 
etc. I know black gays could count as post-black metal, but it's another genre by itself, so I didn't include them. Progressive black metal. If tools were coarse paint, the challenging or experimental version of black metal. I couldn't find much of its history, but enslaved felt like a felty. are the earliest example of the genre. I recommend checking out their other albums and demos as well, despite being fighting metal. Then with Emperors in the Night Side Cliff and Anthems to the Welkin at Dusk. Experimenting and being the creator of symphonic black metal and Borg Nagor Pushing black metal's boundaries, 2000's bands include A Forest of Stars Imperial Triumphant Blue Dow's Nor Etc. 2010's bands include Wolf in the Foreign Room, Kralis, and Code. Epic Black Metal. When Black Metal has traveled back to ancient times, mixing its poetry, aka ancient epics, Giltam Zumra Rashupti Ilatim. Are creating their own law with black metal, especially atmospheric black metal or ambient black metal. Heavy on synth and having orchestral instruments, the leader of the genre is summoning with Minas Morgo. And let mortal heroes sing your fame. Opening the gates with bands like Calderon Broom with Echoes of Battle. <laughs> Polishing the sound. Other noble bands include Eldermar, <laughs> Elderwin, personal favorite. Emin Mule. Etc. Huge thank you to the people who gave me suggestions and bands on Instagram. By the way, follow my Instagram if you want to answer some questions or check out some BTS things, which is Mutilation and Vampirska. Mutilation, a black metal band formed by Mileage in 1991. My favorite albums are Black Millennium, Grimmy Reborn, <laughs> Vampires of Black Imperial Blood. <laughs> And my Easter's the process. Pretty catchy and raw. Would recommend. Fanbriska, a recent raw black metal band. My favorites are Torturous Omens of Blood and Candle Wax. Four Millions Apparitions Frozen in Chimera Twilight. and frozen psychosis precipitated by the rain. Oh, that was long! Love how unholy it sounds, love the rawness, would recommend too. Also, how do you know I like raw black metal? Another enormous thank you for these fans. I'll continue checking out their other stuff and early works as well. And that's part 2 of Black Metal Subgenres. Feel free to recommend your bands or add your infos in the comment section. I was thinking of adding some part 1 subgenres to polish it better in this video, but I'll let you guys decide. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!